Hey guys, I'm Mimo, the skin enthusiast, and welcome to my channel where we take skincare one day at a time because skincare is not a sprint but it's a marathon. So, if you like fun and informative skincare content, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. And also, don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at Mimo, the skin enthusiast, where I post most skincare related content. So, how have you guys been? I hope you guys are doing good and taking care of yourself and your skin. So, today we're going to compare two very similar products. And if you're on the lookout uh, for these two products and if you're confused on which one to get, this video might help you. But a quick disclaimer before we head to the products. I'm not a dermatologist or an esthetician, but I test try and do my own research on so many skincare products and ingredients. So I'm just sharing with you all my personal experience. So without any further ado, let's head to the products. <laughs> The products that we're going to talk about today is from CeraVe and Iliun. It is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and the Iliun Ceramide Auto Concentrate Cream. If you have sensitive skin, reactive skin, acne prone skin, and if you're looking for uh, a brand or products that that really like straightforward, doesn't contain fragrance, essential oils, or any kind of fluffy ingredients. I'm sure you must have come across the brand CeraVe because that is the whole philosophy of this brand. Very straightforward, no fluffy ingredients, and um, pretty good products actually. This brand is truly synonymous with effective, affordable, simple, straightforward, because I think there are a lot of people who's on the lookout for products like this. And a lot of dermatologists also recommend this brand because this is really, really simple and it really minimizes the risk of any kind of uh, irritation or sensitivity on your skin. And now we have Iliun from K-Beauty. Uh, this is a brand which is very much comparable to CeraVe in terms of products, ingredients, and boring packaging. I mean, come on, boring packaging is not a bad thing as long as the formula works, the ingredients are good, and it's doing a great job on the skin. But some people want that, you know, that aesthetic value to products as well, and it's not a bad thing as well, you know, it really depends on how you take your skincare. So as today, we're comparing the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. This one is for normal to dry skin. And if you have oily skin, like normal to oily skin, you better go for the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion, which is lighter. And here we have the Ilium Ceramide Auto Concentrate Cream. This one is also uh, for dry skin. And if you have oily skin or oily combination skin, you better go for this, uh, the Ilium Moisturizing Lotion very similar concept, isn't it? So these two creams are mainly for dry skin or normal to dry skin. I don't have really dry skin. My skin is pretty much pretty normal, not too oily, not too dry, somewhere in between. But I like a thicker cream at night. Uh, I always prefer a thicker texture, a thicker cream or something like that. Uh, for my nighttime skincare routine. And as recently I started using tretinoin, that would be a whole new video. But um, I love using a thicker cream at night because it really keeps my skin moisturized throughout the night and uh, as you know when you start tread your skin might be drier than usual and stuff like that so a thicker cream always works for me uh, in my evening skincare routine. The focus of these two products or the key ingredient uh, of these two products are ceramides. I mean when you talk about the brand CeraVe the whole product line, I think, is uh, focused on ceramides because ceramides, CeraVe, you know? So if you're confused on these two products, let's first look into the ingredients. So I'll be looking into the key ingredients or notable ingredients in these two products. Okay, the first one is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. They are Ceramide NP, Ceramide AP, and Ceramide EOP. And ceramides are a really important component of our skin. It's like part of the building block of the skin, right? So you're getting the essential ceramides that you need, that you would need in a product or in your skin with uh, this moisturizer. And this has glycerin, a great humectant, which you can find in so many products, and cholesterol. Now, cholesterol is an important ingredient uh, when talking about skin barrier or skin health because it's part of the holy trinity of skin barrier, which is cholesterol, fatty acids, and ceramides. So having ceramides and cholesterols um, in this product 
I think it's really good for the skin barrier, barrier repair for your skin. This also have sodium hyaluronate and the great humectant and tocopherol, which is vitamin E. So this essentially have all the ingredients, all the key ingredients that you would need uh, for your barrier repair and then to keep your skin healthy. Now this also have petrolatum, which is petroleum jelly. I know some people don't like petroleum jelly or petrolatum based anything because they think that this will clog their pores and stuff like that. But actually, petroleum jelly or petrolatum is very, very safe for your skin and it won't clog your pores. But if you're avoiding it, then uh, this is not the product for you. So moving on to the ingredients of the Ileum Ceramide Auto Concentrate Cream, you might think that where are the ceramides? Because like the CeraVe moisturizing cream, you won't see uh, ceramide NP, ceramide AP, or ceramide anything listed in the ingredient list. Because the ceramides in this cream is in the form of a lab-made ceramide, which is also uh, called a pseudo-ceramide because it is actually made in a lab. So if you go through the ingredient list, let me read it because it's 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 tricky. Hydroxypropyl Bispomitamide, M-E-A? I don't know, did I say it correct? Yeah, that thing, that ingredient is the ceramide. Now, this product has the world's first ceramide encapsulation technology, which makes the ceramides more bioavailable to the skin and it helps deliver the ceramides deeper to the skin. This lab-made ceramide is very, very new and this technology is new as well. So, we really need more data and research to see how this really compares with um, our conventional form of ceramides, which you can find in CeraVe or other products. This also have cholesterol, just like um, the CeraVe moisturizing cream, and I think none of the K-Beauty will be complete without having some nice extracts in it, right? Because K-Beauty is famous for having different kind of extracts, which is really good for the skin. And it's the same for this product as well. The first notable extract is the Panax Ginseng Root Extract. Now, Ginseng Root Extract is known to increase hydration for the skin and increase firmness of the skin as well. And Ginseng is known to um, improve wrinkles and fine lines and also uh, improves skin's brightness, which can help to reduce spots as well. So it's good to know that this product also contains something like Panax Ginseng Root Extract. The second notable extract in this is soybean ferment extract. And soybean ferment extract is uh, one of my favorite extracts. Soybean ferment extract is known to strengthen your skin barrier, increase hydration, as well as uh, some studies suggest that this helps to uh, increase skin regeneration as well. So it's really cool to know that this ingredient is also incorporated in uh, such a cream with ceramides and cholesterol and other barrier supportive ingredients. So until now looking at the ingredients, I think these two products are pretty neck to neck because CeraVe have all the essential ceramides, cholesterols, um, uh, sodium hyaluronate, vitamin E. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the Ileun one have this new technologically advanced uh, ceramide nice extracts, cholesterol. So these two are pretty much neck to neck right now. So we're gonna look at the texture. I think the texture of these two products are surely where it differs. Uh, when looking into the CeraVe moisturizing cream, it comes out like a thick cream, but once you apply it on your skin, you know, it has a very thick, pasty cream kind of texture. Um, which dries down to kind of a matte finish. On the other hand, the Ileune cream have a softer kind of uh, thick cream, not that dry, pasty, matte kind of texture. And this finishes to a more dewier, more dewy look, which I prefer personally. Like that is my jam, like having that dewy skin, having that, you know, that soft cream texture and things like that. This is uh, where I think that, you know, I like the Ileune one better just because of the texture. And now looking into the results of these two products, I think these two products uh, actually does a really good job in keeping your skin moisturized throughout the night. And while starting tretinoin and using these, I think it really helped me uh, in that initial phase of my tretinoin journey 
which I will explain in detail in probably in another video because that's a whole new topic. So if you ask me like which one is better, like I, I can't put like one over the other because these two have done a good job. Uh, it really comes down to like what kind of texture that you like. I know some people like that kind of matte finishing, a really thick, creamy, matte kind of finish, um, finishing cream while other people like the more dewier, softer kind of cream, which is equally occlusive as well. So personally, my jam is dewy, so I go for this, but this is really, really good as well. And if you have dry skin, I think these two will do a good job. And with the added extracts in the Illyun cream, such as the soybean extract and the ginseng extract, uh, with long-term use, you may see added benefits as well. I mean, those two ingredients are really good ones. So probably in the long run, you could see more benefits with this, I guess, but it's not a reason not to choose this. It really depends on the texture that you like. I know, it's hard to choose. Uh, in terms of ingredients, great. In terms of, you know, simplicity, check, check. And if you're looking for something without fragrance, essential oils, drying alcohols, both of them, right? So the only thing I think for me is really the texture. So it's up to you what you like, what kind of texture you like, and you can choose based on that. So if I've made your life a bit easier in choosing one of these two products, please subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification. And also don't forget to hit me up on Instagram at me more the skin enthusiast. And I'll see you guys next week with more skincare content. Bye.